It is an X-Men graded comic book. And we're going to take our owner list. We're going to randomize the owner list <laughs> seven times. We're going to randomize this list seven times. And uh, we're also going to randomize the additions numbers seven times. Good luck, MLB Hawk. Your odds are great, but you know there is a chance. Everybody's got a chance here. Your odds are increased, MLB. Here we go. Five, six, and a lucky number seven. And the first random is complete. So we've got the first random list of owner names. That doesn't tell us a whole lot other than, hey, this is a random list. But here's the big random right here. And we're going to stack this list up right next to our owner list. And you'll be able to see what issue number you have after this random. Who's going to get the early editions? Who's going to get some of the more favorite editions collected? And valued by collectors. Here we go. Seven times. What's it going to be? <laughs> What's it going to be? Treasure around here. You know it. But what is it? Who is it? Here we go. Six. Lucky number. Seven. All right. So we're going to stack this list up next to our owner names. And now we can see who has what issue numbers owned. And I can see the coveted issue 1 through 10 is owned by Chris L. So good luck to everybody in the break. Uh, anything can happen. And I'm wishing everybody the best. Here we go as we get ready for our box break. What is it going to be? Who's it going to be coming out of here for us? Good luck in the box break. X-Men created comic book. What is it going to be? Who's it going to be? And it looks like we have a 6.0 grade Cyclops solo story and an appearance by Man-Thing. <laughs> this came out in 1981 and is number 144. And that is going to be owned by Jim A., who owns 141 through 150. Way to go. Congratulations, Jim. Jim A., coming away with a really nice one. Congrats on this. Let's take a look at some of the artwork. You can see exactly what you've got here is this graded comic book, Uncanny X-Men. And they, they also have the other X-Men one, which goes back to the 60s. This is 144. This product do, it does have some different X-Men comics. And we've seen some earlier ones. I don't think this is one of the biggest hits we've seen, that's for sure. But certainly uh, very collectible by folks uh, all across the land in the, in the world of comics. Looks like we have some, some 80s advertising here. This is the old models. You might remember these. Uh, the old models you'd put together. And they have the truck in one. 
going on right here. Uh, very cool. Straight out of the 80s, man. 1981. So anyway, congratulations. We're on to the next. Uh, the winner, Jim A. Nice hit for you. We've had some really, really big ones. And we're, we're still looking for some more of those to pop out. Early editions. And that is very, very exciting. Congratulations once again, Jim.